a little warning before this video starts. My mic is sounds really bad in this video. I'm planning on getting a new mic soon. It, I need to get a new mic. So, yeah, I had to turn up, the, crank up the volume just a bit so you can actually hear me properly. So sorry if the gameplay is a bit loud, just because I cranked up the volume in a video editor. But yeah, uh, my mic is not in the best state right now. You, you're probably hearing me perfectly, but uh, that, I just changed it in the video editor. Anyways, hope you enjoy the video. Let's get on to the video. Hey everyone, what's going on? Skinny Arms here. And today, I'm going to showcase something that I, I worked on for a while. And it, this is... I, well, actually, well, I did work on it for a while. But, um, I got... I just kind of never uploaded a video on this. At all. So, it's been done for a while. And, yeah, I'll just be showcasing this little thing I made. And I, you, I made it by, uh... Uh, looking through the files of Finance of Freddy's 3. It's a pretty cool uh, thing. A pretty cool port, I should say. It's a port of all the FNAF 3 minigames. So, I'm sure you all want to see it now and not be on a black screen, so let's get into it. Open it up. Yep, there's my mouse cursor. There we go. This is the beginning of it. Warning, all of the games in this collection were made by FNAF creator Scott Cawthon, of course. I did not make any of the games in this collection. I only made the render in the menu screen. Yeah, you guys are going to be impressed, I think, by this render. I hope you guys are. I made this in Blender. It took months. Months. Because of my PC issues. Those PC issues are fixed. Let's get into it. So you got to click to continue. And this is the menu screen. And you can select which arcade cabinet you want to play throughout all of the FNAF 3 minigames. Got the Happiest Day, Stage 1, Mangle's Quest, BB's Air Adventure, Blue Boy's Air Adventure, Chica's Party, and then the mysterious one, which I'm pretty sure is just called, uh... Actually, I don't know what it's called. I actually never really saw what it was called. I just knew it was, uh... It, it's the glitchy one with, a uh, Shadow Bonnie. The Shadow Bonnie arcade cabinet. Before I go into any of these cabinets, I will... I want to show you something that I implemented, because every... I feel like every, uh, like, thing that revolves around FNAF, like, especially the original games, has to involve this. You see this poster? <coughs> has to have that. And if also, if you click this poster in the background, right here, it makes that noise. Only reason for that is because I was planning to release this on some kind of, a. Uh, website, I don't know exactly where, maybe Game Jolt or something, not certain, but um, I was planning on releasing this it's on some website for people to play as a FNAF fan game, I guess, and yeah, I just never did, and this is going to be hinting towards me uh, adding, you know, the final mini game for FNAF 3, you know, with William Afton and the, the you know, spring Bonnie suit and whatnot, anyways. I'm done talking. You guys can, uh, I want to show you all this now. So we're going to start off with, uh, uh, start off with BB's Air Adventure. Now you just click it. And you are in the game. And it's the full game, too. Yep. And you just go to the exit. And... Every other ending is actually in this too. You can complete any other ending you want. I'll showcase the other ending in Bloom Boy's Air Adventure 2 right now. Alright. Right at the end here. And you can just go down. Just like in the original games. And look what's there. All the balloons. I figured out how to recode the game and figured out how it all works and stuff, so I figured out how to activate all the endings for all the mini games, and then you could just give them the cake. How you did in FNAF 3. Gosh, these games are so nostalgic to me, because I played these way back in 5th grade. These games. All of these. You can even get the the balloon or whatever in that one too, but I'm not really going to showcase it, because you guys probably already know what. You probably just want to see the other games. You got Mingle's Quest, which I think is Personally, probably one of my favorites. No. 
Yeah, the jumping noise is very annoying. Oh, nice. I'm not going to showcase the exit. I'll just showcase the ending. There's something I really want to showcase, though, with, um... Chica's minigame, and I made a video on it in the past. Because I was just really surprised by it. You know, whatnot. There's a little exploit you can do. If you didn't know. Oh. And then there's the cake. See, usually you play this minigame first in the original game, and then give the cake to, you know, then the cake would be there for all the other minigames. But it's just there for every game already. And showcase stage one. Uh, yeah. Gosh, that sounds annoying. I was gonna say I forgot how to do this for a sec. I played through this a bunch of times, like thousands of times, because because of all the tests I was doing with it. Because I was trying to get a, like a trying to figure out how the game works, how all these mini games work. Man, that really just hits your ears, doesn't it? Ow. I don't like that noise. There we go. And this is how they play in all the original games, too. I kept it all authentic. I kept it all very authentic to the original game. Without changing any source code or anything, except for, you know, activating the endings. And the little thing I uh, showcased in Chica's minigame, making that accessible. That's the only thing I changed. And that's it. And this one's just pretty, uh, you know, easy, self-explanatory. You guys know what this one is. This was made in Click Team Fusion, by the way. I did use Click Team Fusion. Yep, it's all there. We give him the cake, and... Man, I remember getting this ending for the very first time in fifth grade. I was so proud of myself when I did it. I was so shocked when I did it, because I was just, like, stunned that I actually did it. That was the first game I actually think I ever beat. And then I think I beat FNAF 2, which that was a hard one. That was so hard, I remember. Yeah. And I it was the good ending, too. I That was the first ending I got. With the, It was the good ending on that one. Alright, now I'll showcase, uh... I'll save this one for last. We got this one. This one's an interesting one. Uh, I forgot what to do, actually. Uh, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, you gotta get the Balloon Boy in game. Yeah, here it is. And then just, uh, push down. And then you win. It's pretty easy. Just like that. You gotta press down to scroll through the bunch of the random mini games. Alrighty. Now, for the finale, I'll show you this one. Because there is a... Ooh, that's loud. Ooh. There was a little secret with this one. You know, just grab this stuff. I don't really care. You can do whatever with it. I'm just gonna go straight to it. So usually, you know, if you get, or if you're if you're getting the good ending, you usually jump up there. Oh, whoops! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Anyways, what I was saying, you would usually jump up there, but you but if you go down, I'll showcase that again. Alright, sorry about that. If you go down from here, right down here, which I think you all have probably seen this already, but yeah, if you go in here, you probably have all seen this, but something you did not see, you very much did not see, uh, oh, what the? Oops. <laughs> I went in full screen by accident. Let me turn down the game volume a bit so you guys can actually hear me. Alright, so, what's not in the original game, there's usually a wall right here. But, I removed that wall, and look what was behind it. This secret room. Except for the room did not look like this. There was a blue wall right here, and it was very much not finished. I completely optimized and fixed up the room to function properly. And it actually all works. And then you can just win like that. What makes me think that this room was supposed to be the intended room to play in first, uh, like, be the first minigame of the entire game was just that room, and not Bloom Boy's minigame. 
That's that room makes me think that that was supposed to be the first mini game they were supposed to play. Also, if you're wondering, this poster does not do anything. And I, that's pretty much it with this uh, demo created by Skinner's 115. And it says press escape to exit. You press that. You get this little awesome menu I rendered. You press yes. You press no. You press no. You can go back. You can't select the stuff outside of it when it's open. If you press yes, it closes out the window. Just like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a like or even subscribe. Also, I didn't even realize, um, I guess this is going to be my 1,000 subscriber special because, um, I didn't make a video for my 1,000 subscriber special yet. Also, thank you for three, uh, 3,000. <laughs> thank you for 1,000 subscribers. I never thought that I'd be able to hit that many, ever. But, yeah. Well, what do you know? Anyways, I'll, I'll see you all in the next one. Good night.